One of the biggest challenges of the first few months for brand new parents, I think, is adjusting to the huge amount of information that's out there. By the time I see parents in hospital, they're often feeling really overwhelmed because they've had advice through Instagram and Facebook, through their mum, through blogs and through the lady at the post office. I think that if we can let parents know that they don't have to take all of that on, you can filter through that information overload. And I think that the way you do that is one, have a conversation with your partner about what you want to focus on as parents and what you want to leave behind. Secondly, choose just one to two really good sources of information, something really quality and stick with that. And three, don't listen to anything that makes you feel bad. There's many, many different ways to raise a baby and many different ways to be a parent. So you've got to think about who you are and what works for you and run with that. What an important topic to talk about mother care. I know as a first time mum myself, most people are coming to visit baby and consumed with what's going on with baby and not really me and my identity sometimes can feel a little bit washed out. It's really important to know that as a mum, you're not just a mum, you're still a person and that you can integrate that old version of you with the new you. And that just because you have this beautiful baby and that's what you're doing right now, it doesn't mean you can't do other things that make you who you are and can help build out your identity. It's about integrating old with new and creating this better version of yourself. Focus on something that's really important to you, like your strengths, and get back at it. I want you to really embrace the fourth trimester. It's my absolute favorite trimester because it gives you a chance to actually honor what your body has done. It's taken nine months to grow a human and we need to give it that time and that respect to actually kind of gradually come into itself find itself again. Gone are the days where we should be pushing our mums to kind of spring back or bounce back to those pre-baby bodies. All that does, it ends up in burnout for the mother and injuries and issues. So what I want you to do instead is really embrace this period. I want you to kind of think about rest, okay? Sleep when you need to sleep. Give your body a chance to recover like it would from any other kind of injury or surgery or whatever it has been through, we need to give it time to rest. We need to recoil, recoil from the world. Give your body a chance to recoil and slowly kind of close in. It needs time to do this. And I want you to use this time to reconnect with your body, reconnect with your pelvic floor muscles, your tummy muscles, and feel how your body moves, okay? Because it's a great chance to lay down those foundations early before you step back out into the world. Don't underestimate the importance of having a really good GP. They're kind of like the glue that sticks all of your family health together. Sometimes we see lots of different specialists and the GP is that person who has the bird's eye view and connects all of those dots. And it's the continuity of care over the years that they stick with your family. Now, they can be quite tricky to find. So the good thing to do is ask. Ask at your mums or parents groups, ask at the playground. They can be tricky to find, but once you actually do, stick to them because you'll have somebody who is there with you, who you can trust when it comes to your health. So whether it's women's health or your mental health and everything to do with the kids as well. After bringing your baby home, it can be really overwhelming with all that we have to do for this little being and to keep them happy and healthy. But in order to do that well, we need to consider ourselves. And in those early weeks, it might be hard to find time to get out. But getting out once a day is really going to help not only your physical self, but your, your mental well-being as well. So let's see how that's actually done. You need to get prepared. So if your pram needs to, you know, get up, maybe your partner can help put that up so you're not struggling with it. And getting out between two feeds once a day is going to make all the difference, even if it's just walking to the corner, getting that coffee and walking back. So make sure that you care for yourself. That's going to make this adjustment to parenthood so much easier for you all. 
when it comes to feeding yourself and everyone around you in those early days can be really daunting. We feel tired, we're busy with bubs, and often nutrition is pushed to the side. So even though I'm an advocate of making everything from scratch, I know that's not always possible. So get savvy, get smart, do your online shopping and learn to read labels. So when you're stocking up your pantry for those easy meals that you need to prepare for your family, you'll be sure that they have no nasties. Things like yogurt, crackers, breads, your staples, they can be healthy if you remember to look out for the things that you don't want to see in them, such as preservatives, sugar and high sodium levels. The other thing is, your body is healing. You have just given life to this other person and you need to look after yourself. So focus on nutrient-dense foods. Things like bone broth, probiotic-rich yogurts, these will all help the healing process much faster.